Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Bowman's Best University Football. Eight box random player break number one. 25 spots, everyone gets three spots from the list below. Um, for you eagle-eyed uh, eagle -eyed description readers, which I appreciate, you notice that Bryce Young and CJ Stroud are not on this list. They fall under the all other players not on list category, so just keep that in mind. All right. So let's go back over here. And for the purpose of the promo, we'll just be using the original 25 names like we usually do for uh, tonight's promo. Hopefully we'll get that done tonight. So let's triple this list up. There's one already. There's two. And there's three. So that makes 75 on each list. Now let's gather everybody's names. Put them into the first list. And then let's get all the players' names and get them into the second list right here. And let's roll it and randomize it. Six and a five, 11 times for names and players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleventh and final time. We got Jason down to Jared. Oh, let's use a different list here. All right, six and a five, 11 times for the players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. After 11, we've got Xavier Hutchinson down to Jaron Hall. I think most of these guys probably were recently drafted. All right, so I'm just going to show you the list as is, and then I'll alphabetize by your first name so you can see all of your players grouped together. Yeah, as Gilo pointed out, there is a guy named Kool-Aid McKinstry. Kind of like Sauce Gardner, it's a thing. All right, so there's, there's the list as is on the recording on Wax. Now let's alphabetize by your first names. So Aaron Billingsley, there are your team, or your teams, your players right there. Barry, Brandon, Chad Daw, Craig, Darren, Ed, Jared, Jason, Jeff with a bunch of players right here. Got Hendon Hooker and Anthony, a couple quarterbacks. That's always nice. Mickey. Got the Will Levis in there. And Dorian Thompson Robinson. I'm not sure what his ceiling is NFL wise, but he was fun to watch in college. Scott. Tristan. You got Caleb Williams in there, Tristan. And last but not least, Victor. So there you go, gang. We're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any um, we're gonna see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break itself. So be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. Big thanks, everyone, once again. Here, here's the final printout, hot off the presses. This is page one. And page two. And right, let's see. Uh, let's put, put that there. Maybe this go off to my side right over here, just for easy access. There's the case right over there. Bowman's Best University Football Edition. Actually. Come on, Joe. Should have taken this out of inventory during the trade window. Good luck, everyone. Thank you for the fill. Now, this is part of the promo. We're using the original 25 names to put on the promo list. We got to do one more of these tonight. plus a couple Bowman Jumbo baseball breaks. And then 
And then we're in a uh, we're in break creditsville. We can give away some break credit tonight. All right, so we're looking for one chrome autograph per mini box plus parallels. Everyone's familiar with the Bowman's best format and design, the vibes. Next case loaded up. So let's finish that off tonight. We've got Blue Jays at Red Sox on in the background. I've got some, some heavier than usual financial interest on the Red Sox. They're up to nothing. It's only the fourth inning. Florida, who shocked the world by beating Boston. I guess maybe shocked nobody but Florida fans, but shocked the rest. They're up one nothing on the blue on the uh, maple leaves. That is at the end of the first period. At the end of the first quarter, uh, the Knicks up by a bit on the Heat 31 to 29. My Lakers are in San Francisco tonight. That's in a couple hours. Rex's question is, can the Suns turn it around and come back? Oliver says, yeah, they can. I think they can too. <laughs> Will they though? But I don't know. I don't know if they have an answer for. Well, not many players, not many teams do have an answer for Jokic, but they got to figure out how to slow him down a little bit. Do all cards ship in this? Uh, it doesn't say, but we will ship all cards. Here's Logan Diggs to one ninety nine. That's gonna go to. It's gonna go to Mickey. And we got a uh, die cut here. Kool Aid McKinstry. Nice. I dig that. Kool Aid McKinstry. There's Aiden O'Connell. Got drafted by my Raiders. Oh. And Daquan Finn from Toledo. Daquan will go to Tristan. And there is a BJ Ojolari, uh, neon, neon neophytes. I thought that might be number, but that's just the parallel. That's just the way the insert looks. Here's Zach Evans from Old Miss. That Old Miss that goes to uh, that's a 2050, and that'll be for Craig. We've got a Tavion Thomas speckle. It's Anthony Richardson and Phil uh, Yurkovic. Phil uh, will go to, Phil will go to Mickey. All right, that's box one. And we'll do a little autograph recap at the end of this break. Let's go box two. With the Kings out, I believe Jason's now rooting for the Maple Leafs due to Austin Matthews. He should be rooting against the Maple Leafs so Austin Matthews can end up with the Kings after he says, 
I'm done with Toronto. What's the most popular sport, if there is one, amongst Jaspi employees? Hmm. I mean, I would say the NFL. Everyone seems to be in on the NFL season. You know, there are a couple of passionate baseball people here, but baseball, basketball. I mean, I feel like that's that's like most most of the world. The United States, at least. Football is popular, the most popular than probably basketball, than baseball, hockey. Oliver's going to go with the Kraken. Rex wants to see a Lakers Sun series so you can listen to the Pizzle and Joe uh, Jaspi arguing. That's right, Oliver. Get your popcorn ready. I want that too. That's, that's good for... Uh, that's that's good for uh, good for the show. That's good content. Chad Daw thinks the Kraken are about to win the cup. Rex thinks baseball. I think we have passionate individuals. I really like baseball. I think myself and Chris. Michael, I think, too, but but collectively I would probably say NFL. I see I see more more football jerseys during the fall being worn throughout the week. You know, a lot of conversation about stuff like that. There's Justin uh Ademiola to two fifty. There's an Anthony Richardson that'll go to Jeff Hen. And the Justin goes to goes to Jeff Hen as well. And Caleb Williams. I think Tristan is Caleb Williams, probably the future. But I think uh, I actually think Oliver might be right. I think gambling might be the might be Jaspi's favorite sport. And there's Bo Nix, Jared, with Oregon. Jonah's not here. Did he? Did Jonah? Oh, yeah. T today's Jonah's leave earlier day. Bo Nix, that's going to go to Jared, to 150. Is he going to be part of... Next, did he get drafted this year or is he part of next year's QB class? I feel like there's... I feel like a, some of these so-called experts seem to be suggesting that next year's quarterback class is, uh, is going to be deeper or at least a higher floor than this quarterback class. There's C.J. Stroud. I go see all other players. Victor Sullivan with that one. And there's uh, Tua's brother. Tulia Tungavailoa. Going to... Going to Victor. And the all other players not on list spot. There's Jaron Hall. And there's Jermaine Burton. Some good penmanship there. Jermaine, nice. That'll be for Jason K in Alabama. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Thomas is doing great. I, need, I still need to carve out a time to see him pitch. But I, I want to say he had... He had a nice start last Saturday, but the team didn't win. I think he went like seven innings of zero earned run baseball, and then his team proceeded to give up a couple in the eighth or ninth, and they have ended up losing in, in extras. Yeah, and Matadors have a pretty what? How does how does college baseball World Series work, Oliver? 
for this con- for the Big West, which is like I think it, which is what the conference that and my alma mater, UC San Diego, is in, and Cal State Northridge as well, which is where Thomas is at. How does that work? Is there like a tournament uh, within those conferences, or is it just the winner of the conference goes to goes automatically to the College Baseball World Series pool or something like that? Get out. Nice. Yoshida off his countryman, Kikuchi, with a solo shot. Sox up 3 nothing, But still a lot of game left. A little nervous because I've got some financial interest, heavier than usual financial interest in, in the Red Sox. Oh, they have to win their tourney. Got it. I wanted. I thought. I thought the conference winner. Get, maybe, I don't know. I don't know the exact rule. I, I thought that there was a tournament and the conference winner because I feel like I saw two teams out of the Big West end up in the pool for uh, ended up in the pool for the College World Series, something like that. Yeah, that's something I want to get to, Gilo, at some point in my life. Go go spend a weekend during the College World Series. In wherever it's at. Yeah, look him up. Thomas Bainton. B-A-I-N-T-O-N. We got Zazavian Valade. That goes to... Goes to Chad Daw. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. What's up, Carl? No, I have not shared. But same as last time. I think uh, I think there's like five total left. Five or six total left. I think right now there's two full spots and we're probably counting on three or four fillers. I can open up all those spots, or actually less one spot for the filler, but I can open up all of those if you're interested. Here is Nathaniel Dell, Lava to 100. Nathaniel will be for Jeff Hen. There's a Hendon Hooker Gunslinger's die cut. Another Anthony Richardson. And an Austin Stogner from Oklahoma. That will be for Tristan. Richardson, of course, goes to Jeff Hen. Hendon Hooker die cut for Jeff Hen. There's so a Will Levis, a Jabari Small. Jason, is Bo Nix next year's class? Yes, sir. What's he expected to do in the NFL? I guess he still has to play a season of college football, but um, what's the early scouting report? I mean, he after Georgia game, he was pretty good. I thought he could have been in a like, top five, top ten Heisman, but um, he got injured towards the end of the year. Ah, I see. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if all of you want, you should be first time. Nice. Nice. Should be a couple good years for the hobby, ladies and gentlemen. I think this year's quarterback class, and I feel like there's another uh, another quarterback class. Next year's quarterback class might even be better, according to some experts. Yeah, Oliver's got Thomas's record. 5-1, and 3-9 ERA. 62 innings pitch, 50 strikeouts. How many walks? I think that's always a good indicator. A lot of guys can strike guys out, but I feel like Thomas's walk rate is pretty good, though.
Oh, we did pull a Bo Nix auto. Then maybe is that why Jason's here? <laughs> That's what Mike Tower saying. He's like, oh. he sensed a Bo Nix auto, like the Force. Yeah, Thomas has that Dustin May hair. All right, so 50 strikeouts and 19 walks. 62 innings, not bad. Could be a little lower, but we like it. Thomas was saying he was, he was here a few days a week during his winter break a number of months ago, and he was saying that his velocity has ticked up a little bit. I think he has three pitches that he can rely on, maybe maybe more, which is always good for starter. Got to have that three-pitch mix. Yeah, he touches 94, right? That's a great spot. And we got a die cut autograph. That's Keely Ringo. The Georgia safety, I want to say, part of the secondary. That's 12 out of 50. Keely, Keely Ringo is not on this list. So that goes to the all other players not on list spot. Victor Sullivan, there you go. I feel like he fell a little bit in the draft. Raiders tight end, Michael Mayer, some CJ Strouds as well. Yeah, my, my cousin and I were hanging out over the weekend watching the draft together. My cousin's saying he's got stiff hips. Might may account for why he fell a little bit in the draft. There's Jordan Battle, 50 out of 99. Jordan Battle, not on the list. That'll be for the all other spot. And there's Andrell Anthony from Oklahoma. Uh, that will be for Victor Sullivan. Thomas's nickname could be Bainton Station. Mm, doesn't, that doesn't rhyme as well. It should be, unless it was Bainton Staten. Well, rhymes help, Rex. T-Bain? Yeah, T-Bain works, kind of like, kind of like hip hop artist T-Pain. There's Graham Merritt's to 150. And there's Will Levis. Although using, uh, using baseball nickname, How boring baseball thing nicknames could be. I'll bet it's just, I'll bet it's just Tommy, Tommy B. Let's go, Tommy. Please tell me that you're not joking, Gilo. Please tell me that's true. Gilo's saying the guy who's. Kool-Aid McKinstry has, uh, Gilo saying, has an NIL deal with Kool-Aid. 
Please be true. I think I was so eager to start this break. I don't think I did. I add this to the. I don't think I added this to the schedule. I think we started this break about 25 minutes ago. Had about another 20, 30 minutes ago. Maybe they can make a Kool Aid sauce. Rex is saying. So what? So then Sauce Gardener and Kool Aid McKinstry can do commercials together. TB18, the TB18 method. Maybe if maybe as Thomas Oliver comes up with his own brand of snake oil to sell to people. Wow, that that's there's a tweet by the Kool-Aid brand that made it official. So where is, is he still in college? Oh, you said NIL deal, so he's still in college. Do you think that relationship will continue on into the pros if he makes it there? There's Dallas Turner. Turn around every now and then I feel a little bit close. Turn around. Brandon with Dallas Turner. Roman Masterpieces. There's Treshawn Holden. To 199. That's for that's for whoever has Trajan Holden. That'll be for Barry. And we got Kenny McIntosh. That'll be for Mickey. We got a Will Anderson speckle die cut. It'll be for Mickey with Will Anderson. JC Latham to 250 for Jared. And we got a Bryce Young here as well. All right, a few more boxes to go. I did watch the most recent Barry episode, Oliver. The ending, I don't know if, without giving too much away, I know it only dropped on Sunday, so I don't know if everyone's seen it. They should. If you're a Barry fan, you should have seen it already. But yeah, is that a flashback? Is that a flash forward? Is that a hallucination? Don't know. It's great, the freight episode though. Kool-Aid chicken wing sauces, Rex. Yeah, no one's gonna mistake Rex for a foodie, that's for sure. Great marketing by Kool-Aid. What came first, Kool-Aid McKinstry or Kool-Aid? Well, Kool-Aid came first. Yeah, a lot of things. I mean, who do you root for? You know, this might just be one of those shows where, you, where everyone's un has, is unforgivable. You know, way too early mock draft. They, who's they? Have the Raiders like in Cool Air with the seventh overall, Cool Aid with the seventh overall pick? Seventh overall pick. Jeez. It's a long season for my Raiders. Then. I'll take Cool Aid. Is he good? I don't know. I don't even know what position he plays.
Uh, Bleacher Report getting a head start on a mock draft, huh? He's a, a defensive back for Alabama. All right. I'll take Kool-Aid. Raiders could use some defensive backs. And there is Israel Abanikanda. Abanikanda. That's going to be going to Aaron Billingsley. 10 out of 50. Caleb Williams. There he is. There's Kool-Aid. We we're just talking about him. Kool-Aid McKinstry. Yeah. Could use some tackling. Kool-Aid goes to Craig, who has Kool-Aid McKinstry. Yeah, what, what about Zach McKinstry? Did he change his name to Sonny D. McKinstry? There's a Jason Ademiola, 99 out of 99. It'll be for Jeff. If, if Zach McKinstry was still in college, yeah, I, I, might, I might have him. I might ask him to do that. I'd be like, you should do that, Zach. Uh, and here's Henry Tuo Tuo. And that will be for Ed P. And there's a Will Levis uh, for Mickey, Refractor. Chop Robinson, an edge rusher from Penn State. Damn. And there's Drew Alar to 299. That'll be going to the all other player spot for Victor. All right, two boxes to go. As long as they should do a, as long as they avoid drink the Kool-Aid references. I don't know, maybe you should lean into that. I'd be like, hey, drink the Kool-Aid on Kool-Aid McKinstry. He's gonna be one of the top defensive backs in the National Football League. Boom, there you go. Yeah, maybe Thomas should do an NIL deal with Jaskies. If Thomas does another year in college, maybe, uh, maybe we will do that. You think, uh, Kool-Aid McKinstry should have maybe maybe uh, some Cool of the Gang playing. Would that be his, like, I guess if he was a baseball player, that would definitely have to be his walk-up music, right? Celebrate good times. Come on. Do, 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 do. Chad, we already saw some Bijan Robinsons. Saw some of his cards. So done and done. You're welcome. Yeah, there were a couple inserts, some base cards, some Bijan Robinsons. Got them. All card shipped. Blue Jays are up. 
We got a BJ Ojolari. That's going to go to Chad Daw. What kind of nicknames have I had? Rex is asking. None that I can repeat on a family friendly show such as this. It's 149 out of 150. There's a fight song, CJ Stroud insert going to Victor. The Dorian Thomas Robinson, he had a great college career. Let's see how it was. It's a little undersized for football. It was sort of a raw prospect. He got drafted by somebody though. Um, that goes to Mickey. And Graham Mertz. Go to Ed P. Rex hasn't had a lot of Rick names. I guess your last name alone is pretty cool, Rex. Yeah, that's like a nickname in and of itself. There's Pat Garwo, 30 out of 50. That's gonna go to the all other list. Victor, that one. T-Rex is a good one. Here's another Will Levis Refractor. Rex in effect. All right, all right. Rexy, yeah, Rexy's a good one. Sometimes we hit you with a, with a Rexy, sexy Rexy. Hit him with that. Rex's nickname around here is usually, come on, Rex, is, is, is his nickname here. Or Sexy Rexy. All right, final box. There is Rex Flix. Good old, good old Rex Flix. We know what's on there. Sexy Rexy was the nickname of Rex Go Grossman. Undeserved. Our Rex deserves Sexy Rexy. Not Rex Grossman. That's gross, man. Rex Ryan got sexy, right? I'll give Rex Ryan sexy again. It's funny because back in the early 2000s when I used to chat, I created Rex Geist. People thought it was because I live in Geist, Indiana. Now what do they think? Now that you're on a national show. The Rexorcist? That's pretty good. Mike Tower, the Rexorcist. Yeah, what chats were was Rex on? AOL, Instant Messenger, Yahoo chats maybe, ICQ, perhaps. You know, maybe 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 on maybe a message board on GeoCities on a GeoCities site. There's Daquan Finn. Going to Tristan. Because of your last name, and it means Geist. Oh yeah, well yeah, Rex is King Geist Ghost. So you were you were King Ghost. King Ghost, interesting. Now that means something completely different. Like you're just the king of ghosting people, or something like that. All right, last mini box here. There's Graham Mertz die cut. 
And there's a Xavier Hutchinson autograph. That'll be for Jason K. Bryce Young Refractor for Victor. Rex is on Talk City and Web TV. Wow. I have no idea what those are. <laughs> Rex wasn't burning CDs, Gilo. He was still putting cassette tapes in a stereo and hitting the record button whenever his favorite song came on. 64 I 75. Whatever bad like Lincoln Park song that was on the radio in Indiana back on like repeat back in the day. And Will Shipley here at the end. And there you go, boys and girls. That was 2023 Bowman's Best University Football. Eight box random player break number one. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.